Welcome to another video from SQL Maestros. Today we are going to talk about the T-SQL top clause. We use the top clause to pick up randomly or maybe in deterministic fashion top 5 or top 10 or top 100 records, just a few records when you don't want to deal with the entire table. Top has a lot of business applications. Let's say you want the top you know, top 5 most recent orders or top 10 most recent orders, something like that. Now, if you look at this output here, we are extracting top three orders from the transaction tables. Now, this is a table transaction details in SQL Maestro's dummy database. And we say order by order date descending, which means I'm trying to extract top three most recent order. Now, the moment I say order by order date descending, it's actually giving me the most recent order or probably uh, orders with the latest date, the most recent date. And you can see there are some dates here. Don't worry about the data there that these orders date back to 2016, which is fine, but that's the uh, uh, most recent data that's there in the table, the latest data. Now there is this concept about deterministic output versus non-deterministic output, which means when I run this query multiple times, will SQL Server always return me these three orders or can it return me some other records, but they still will be uh, orders dated on this date. That's the question. So these three are not the only orders on this date which is what uh, 10 november 2016 there could be multiple orders of this date and i have just told sql server order by order date descending so it could actually return me other orders maybe randomly but for the most recent date and which could be this date now if sql server always returns me these three records that is what we term as deterministic output but if sql server is randomly picking up top three records yet ordered by order date if there is a possibility of more orders being on the same date then that is a non-deterministic output now we can't make assumptions right because data will always be less or more and keeps changing now on the face of it this output is non-deterministic sql server can pick up any three records and uh, it will still be ordered by order date in descending fa fashion which is the three most recent order for this uh, for the latest date here but this is going to be non-deterministic now what let me elaborate this further look at the transaction id there 2876316 and 2007 and you know the date already 200, uh, 2016 11 and 10 okay so let's go and execute this multiple times keep an eye on transaction id a few records there might change okay so let's go and do this execute there you go look at the second record the second record has changed 25839 the first one still remains the same and i think the third one is also fine but the second record changed now keep an eye i'm going to run this a couple of times but if you notice for 25839, the date is still the same. This is what I mean by non-deterministic output. There is no guarantee that you will always get the same three records over and over again. So let's try this once more. Look at this, how the data has changed. You now have a new record being introduced, 11484. Observe the third record. We had these two, but this is the new one. Let's try this once more. Okay. Now I... Again, okay, 63162, you have a new one. When I ask this question to a few developers, they kind of confirm that, no, you, you're always going to get the same data out because probably they visually noted that the same data and the same orders are coming back again and again. But technically speaking, that's not true. And you can see this right here. In fact, the point is, if I use the keyword with ties here, which means now give me all the data that has a tie with the last record of this output when you say top three the third record and because i am uh, playing this data with order date order by so all the records that have the same order date as the third record i will get all those orders also all those records also so if i execute this now look at this there are 34 records in this 
table. There are 34 records in this table that have the same date. If I scroll down, you can see that have the same date. Now, this is deterministic. In fact, I have got all the records for 10th November 2016. There are 34 of them. This is deterministic. This will always be the same each time I execute this output. But coming back to the original question, when I say top three, am I going to get the same records or over and over again. No, I'm not going to get that. So let's run this a couple of times more. Look at this. This is changing 2876312 and 20097. Look at the transaction IDs. Keep an eye on them. Again, it changed. Now you have a new one, 77517. SQL Server is just randomly picking up the data and it's a, it is ordering by the order date. Yes, it maintains the records to be on the last order date from the data set that we have, from the table data that we have, but it could be any three records. So now the question is, how do you ensure that this output is deterministic? Well, you need to add another attribute, a, a unique attribute probably that makes it unique data set, unique set. And what we can do is in this table transaction details, there is another attribute and you, all, you have already figured that out, which is transaction ID. So if we say order date descending comma transaction ID descending, now look at this and think about this. This makes it deterministic, which means the data is going to be sorted on order date descending and transaction ID descending and transaction ID is unique. So you're always going to get a deterministic output because transaction ID in this data set is ever increasing, right? Uh, of course, that has to be ensured that it is ever increasing. So I'm looking at the most recent three transaction IDs with order date. So let's go and look into this. So when you run this, so now you are getting for 10th November 2016, you have the output there. Look at the transaction ID. These are the latest transaction IDs that we have. Just observe the last two digit 144372. Keep executing it. You always have the same output. You will always have the same output. This is deterministic output. So whenever you use the top clause, please be very sure about the fact that the output is deterministic or is it non-deterministic? Very, very critical. Sometimes these little things get overlooked because probably you're writing all these queries to put some data out uh, for, um, for some important reporting purposes. Let's say you want top five customers, top three products that have been selling in top three recent months and whatnot. So make sure that the output is deterministic if that is what you want, no assumptions here. So I hope you have understood the concept uh, of deterministic versus non-deterministic with the top clause. Hope the video was useful. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you're notified on new videos. Most importantly, visit sqlmaestros.com. There's a lot of SQL learning resources out there. Video courses, master classes, lab kits, ebooks, blogs, hands-on labs and a lot more. Follow us on Twitter at the rate SQL Maestros and myself A underscore Bunsel. Last but not the least, do subscribe to our newsletters. See you soon in another video. Goodbye.